So next, we'll always talk about the ideal suture properties. The properties that we desire is like a dream girl. You can dream of it, but you can it never exist. First of all, I would like to thank the company Ethicon for providing me all the samples of the sutures for the series of the lectures. So as usual, we will come to the definition of what is a suture. So a suture is from the Latin word. Uh, suture means sum sim. Um, in the surgical department, when we talk about suture, it's not the suture in between the bones. All right. Okay. Pun unintended. Uh, it's actually what we meant is the sterile trade. So what is the use of this sterile trade? This sterile trade, right? In any surgical intervention. So. As a layman or as any a general practitioner, they will tell you the use of the suture. Number one is of course to approximate open wounds. Yes, this is one of the most common usage of a suture, but that's not all. We can also use a suture to ligate blood vessel. Right. We can use it to ligate the blood vessels, uh, either it's bleeding or not bleeding. And of course, you can do an anastomosis. You do uh, to repair blood vessels or you repair nerves. You also use sutures, right? And number four, you can do a uh, anastomosis as well, the bowel, any bowel anastomosis, all right? So number five, you can also do it to repair any torn muscles okay or any fascia or any tendons all right this is bowel anastomosis yeah okay number six this is one of the surgeon's favorite you can use it as a pulley to retract certain tissue planes all right what do i mean by that Okay, let's say there is a tissue plane here, right? There are two tissue plane here. You are trying to betray this tissue plane on the superior side, all right? Or, the, or you call it the superficial part. So instead of using the retractor, which is quite traumatic, all right? What I will do, I will do, uh, I put two switches here, one each end, all right? And I pull it, right? So what happened was, this tissue plane will be retracted out outwards so that you can have more space to work inside here all right and usually when you have a suture you use a artery forceps all right to hold it okay so this is one of the favorite manual that i'll always do number seven and this is also a surgeon's favorite. You can use it as a stay. We call it a stay suture. We use this stay suture to, um, this you know, to tell us that oh, you already have gone through this step for any other complex surgical intervention. So next, we we'll always talk about the ideal suture properties. The properties that we desire is like a dream girl. You can dream of it, but you can it never exist, all right? But the properties that we like in a suture is number one, the property is uniform. You must have a uniform in diameter. We do not want any, you know, lumps and bumps over the suture that can cause uh, any drag in the suture. Number two, we want the tensile strength to be consistent. All right, the tensile strength of the suture must be consistent. Number three, the suture, like this suture, is easily pliable. It should be easily pliable and it can be manipulated easily. And number four, of course, they must have a very good knot security. If the security is not good, 
the knot come out, it might endanger the patient's life. And as much as possible, we do not want the suture to have memory. Okay, so what is memory? Memory is normally you see the suture is been wrapped inside the packaging. Alright, so if the memory is a lot, you can see the suture is still retain its packaging memory and is still in this kind of shape rather than is straight. So we don't want the suture to have any memory. Alright, number six, what we want is actually a guaranteed sterility. Alright, so from the last episode, we know that the suture has expiry date. So some of my students ask me, why is there expiry date? Alright, so oh actually no. this expiry date there's a lot of factor but the main factor for this expiry date is the sterility once the suture is expired and that means the sterility is not guaranteed that is another reason why you shouldn't use an expired suture okay number seven you want the suture to have no um, any tissue reaction the tissue acceptance of the suture is good right Okay, usually we use all these sutures. Uh, we don't want any uh, reaction, but there's a caveat that some surgery, like a hernia surgery, actually we would want a fibrosis. We will discuss this later in the hernia uh, lecture later on, right? And of course, the performance of the suture is predictable, all right? If the the company or if the suture told you that let's say um, BDS all right polydioxone the polydioxone suture is uh, maybe three months four months of a tensile strain and three months four months tensile strain is there that is what we call a predictable performance and also if the performance is good you have a very good handling all right of course we want the suture ready to use mm. Back to the days, there are actually sutures that are unarmed. It still exists, it still exists nowadays, but uh, this almost obsolete. If you really want a suture that is unarmed, all right, it's quite uh, difficult because you still have to get the needle and also you have to thread the needle and then you use it. But nowadays, all the sutures are armed. You can see all the Right, all the needles are there, all right. But there are some suit needles, or the only needles, there is no suture, and there are some suture only, all those are tie sutures. And of course, last and not the least, and the most important, you want the suture to be cheap, all right. Next, we are talking about the size of the suture so for internationally you have two system to talk about the size of the suture the size is not the length all right remember size is the diameter the diameter of the suture all right so we always uh, in commonwealth country we will use a usb system okay USB system is a United States pharmacopoeia system. All right, there is also a decimal system. Right, decimal system is you use the metric gauge in millimeter. All right, so historically the the size of the suture is very interesting. It cut is actually starts with three, all right, then two. 1 and 0 all right for the origin of this size we do know for sure but apparently it's a diameter of a horse hair remember the first surgical procedure that's been done in the world documented eh? documented is actually a fistula right the seed pawn insertion what they use they use a horse hair that is actually coarse so the size 0 usb 0 
is about 0.35 to 0.4 mm all right so for the further you go up the letter right the bigger the diameter okay so now we come down to how many value we have. why because of the technology is become better the diameter we are able to do it smaller and smaller and smaller all right so give and take about 0.1 mm for each so it's actually not two it's actually two zero that means well, it is actually smaller diameter or we call this as a 2O and then we have a 3O and further down now then that means we call it 2O 3O all right or we can use 4O the most common we use is 3O and 4O for, for ophthalmological surgery they can use up to 11O wow. so we can imagine how small how fine is the suture for you guys to further uh, visualize what does it mean by USB 1O, 2O, 3O, <laughs> right? Okay, so for my previous video, you can refer back to that. Actually, you can look at the size from the packaging, it's always written here one. All right, this is USB 1 suture, and this is zero. You also have a 2O. Alright, 2O is not bigger than 1. 1 is bigger than 2O. You also have 3O. Alright, you have 4O and up to 7O. Alright, okay. To illustrate, I will need uh, open up 7O. This is a 7O suture. Can you see? And this is a 1O suture. Alright, so this is 1O suture. And this is a 7 or suture. You can actually see the difference. Okay, so this is what I meant by the USB size of the suture. Length of the sutures, on the other hand, are different. It's always written here. You can always refer back to the uh, suture packaging uh, video before this. So, what are the special terms in the suture technology? Number one is the coating. Some sutures, especially for the um, multi-filament or we call it braided suture, they always have a coating. And you can actually look at the level is always written there, coated. Alright, so what does it coat? Most of the time, you use it as silicone. This is actually to improve the glide. Once the glide is improved, the drag of the tissue is less. So it causes less inflammation. Like this product is actually coated with a silicone. Right? Some of the industry they put a coating with an antimicrobials. Right? It's not antibiotics. Yeah, it's antimicrobials. Right? So uh, they can use uh, these antimicrobials to prevent any infection. Right? So number two, you can also have a loop suture. The loop suture usually are armed with one needle but instead of single suture like this what they do is they have a two sutures together usually they use it as a nylon suture to close the abdomen right it's always one o right so it will be something like this right okay that is a loop suture right you can also have a rail or the strings all right or we call it suture type some suture you'll come in like your know, you know your grandma all right they come in the wheels right the wheels like that all right and this is actually it's, only, it's also single use but usually we use it for single uh, suture type but nowadays we don't have that anymore um, probably it's obsolete in some countries we still have it but uh, we already always come with a packaging like this and there is no needle it's an unarmed suture okay all right so the next one is what we call it as a tensile strength as just now i've already told you guys but um, i forgot to tell you guys about the definition the definition of tensile strength is the duration of a suture to withstand the force 
connected with the healing process. Alright, what it means is um, you can have a you can have a tensile strength of how many newton meter. Alright, correspond to the strength in kg or, or in newton meter that the suture can withstand before it breaking. For this type of seven or tensile strength, of course, will be less. Alright, but it also will depends on what it depends on the material used. Alright, guys. Thank you for supporting us for the previous videos and this video too. And I hope we have learned something today. It helps us to like, subscribe and hit the notification button. Yeah, if you guys need anything, want to learn any other topics that you guys like to learn, please leave a comment below. Your support will help our channel grow for sure. See you guys next week. Same time, same day, same channel. Thank you.